Hello, my most amazing artists. Because this is art class, we're going to be also creating our own high fives today for a very cool mural or picture of everybody in the school's hands. Now, you're gonna need to write your name on your paper when you get it. So where it says name, I'm gonna use a pencil to write my name. Now, where it says class, I'm going to write my class code, which is the letter of the grade you're in, so kindergarten, K, and then the last letter, or the first letter of your teacher's last name. So K, V, if you're in kindergarten, Miss V is class. Now this worksheet I have here is a little funny looking. That's something called Zen Tangles. Zen Tangles are patterns, lines, designs, shapes, anything that you know how to draw that repeats again and again. So I broke up my space with a few squiggly lines, maybe some straight lines, just to get some different sections of my hand. I'm starting with a pencil, and in each different part, I'm going to make different things that I know how to draw. I make some squares in one, circles in another, stripes in another one, making sure that I do a lot of different lines, designs, and patterns on the hand. When I'm done with my pencil, I'm going to go ahead and trace over those lines. If you make a mistake, it's no big deal. You can always erase it because you're starting with a pencil. I'm making sure to do all different interesting lines, designs, and patterns. Anything that you know how to draw, you can repeat it like a squiggly line or a loop-de-loop. -loop. As long as you do it again and again, that is a pattern. When you put all the patterns together in different areas on your drawing in art, it's called a zen tangle. Now today in art class, we are using Sharpies. You will have Sharpies on your tables. Sometimes you're not allowed to use Sharpies outside of art class. That's why it's really important that we use them right. You have to draw very, very light, meaning that you don't press down on them very hard. If you were to press down very hard, that Sharpie could break. And Sharpies cost a lot of money and are something special that we get to use in art class. So please make sure to treat them very nicely and very carefully. I'm tracing over top of my pencil lines. That way they can be seen really, really well from far, far away. When I'm done tracing over my pencil lines with a Sharpie, I will take an eraser and erase my pencil lines because I don't need them anymore. Now, if you were to start with a Sharpie, that's okay sometimes, but Sharpie does not erase. It is permanent, meaning that it stays forever. So you don't want to get it anywhere except for your paper. Now, when I'm using my eraser, I make a letter L with my hand. I put it on my paper and hold it down while I'm erasing. If I stay in the safety zone of my letter L, that makes sure that I am safe, meaning safe from ripping my paper or tearing. When I'm done erasing, then I can talk about color. Color, baby, color. Now today, you will be using the color of your table team. So if you sit at purple, you'll be coloring with purple. If you sit at blue, you'll be coloring with blue. If you sit at green, you're coloring with green. Yellow is coloring with yellow, orange with orange, and red with red. That is called monochromatic, when you use only one color to color. It's called monochromatic, meaning one color. So today you're coloring with just the color of your table team. You have markers and crayons that you can use. I would suggest outlining lines or drawings with the marker, but then color in everything with the crayon. That way you can see it. If you colored everything with marker, you wouldn't be able to see your drawings very well and all your cool Zentangle patterns. So I make sure to color lightly with my crayon after I use my marker to go over all my cool lines, designs, patterns, or whatever you wanted to draw inside the hand. If you wanna draw something else, it's totally up to you, as long as you make it super colorful and fill in all your space. Now, after I'm finished coloring, we're gonna talk about what we would do after when we're finished. Whenever we're finished our art, you always wanna make sure that you did your very best, that you colored in all the white spaces, that you did your best job of coloring. No scribble, scrabble, this is art class. We are trying to do our very best job as artists, and you are an artiste. So after I'm done coloring and I'm all finished, that's all we got time for today. It's okay if you don't finish, but you do always wanna try your best to finish on time. When you're done, we talk about cleaning up. Always put your materials back where you found them crayons with crayons, markers with markers, and always put your cap back on your markers. Otherwise, they'll dry out. 
And if you get a little bit marker on yourself, on your hands, or on your table, if it's an accident, it's okay. There are wipes in your bin called art wipes. You can take one out of the bag, seal it back up, wipe your hands, throw that wipe away in the trash can, and then you're good to go. All clean and all done with your day of art class. All right, awesome artists. Can't wait to see what you create.